I'm going to find the resultant force of the two forces we have in this question. This is a question 2-4 of the ninth edition of the book. Uh, we have two forces applied at point B of a beam, of beam AB. We are going to, I'm going to find the resultant force by two different methods. The first method, or the first solution, is, the, uh, is obtained by using result uh, by using the vertical and horizontal components of these two forces let's call this force f1 and the other one f2 first of all i'm going according to the coordinate the system of coordinates i've chosen i'm going to find the uh, components of uh, vertical and horizontal components of f1 and f2 respectively uh, let's say F1 as a vector is equal to 3 kilonewton cosine 30 is the vert uh, is the horizontal component so I can say 3 cos 30 it's in I direction plus and 3 sine 30 or cosine 60 would I recall you know sine 30 is equal to cosine 60 in y direction so 3 sine 30 unit vector j the second force that we, I have, we have is f2 here so f2 as a vector is equal to and the horizontal component of F2 is, a neg is in a negative direction of X so I can write here mm, minus 2 cosine 50 in I direction you see I've, I, I found the 50, I found that this angle is 50 degree and the other one is 30 degree before starting the solution plus I have to write the vertical component here which is 2 kilonewton sine 50 plus 2 sine 50 j okay the resultant force fr as a vector can be written as the summation of the horizontal forces and the summation of uh, vertical forces so for the horizontal component I have 3 cosine 30 plus uh, actually minus 2 cosine 50 both in I direction if you would use the calculator you will find the answer is 1.312 I and the vertical component is 3 sine 30 plus 2 sine 50 so plus uh, 3 0.032 J. This is the resultant uh, the resultant force in a vector form. If you wanna draw the vector for the resultant force and uh, find the magnitude and the angle of the uh, resultant uh, force, we can use this. Uh, we can draw the horizontal and the vertical components here. The horizontal component, as you see here, is 1.312. The vertical is 3.032. So the resultant force, FR, is equal to square root of 1.312. Three point zero thirty two squared. So FR, the magnitude of the resultant force is three point three zero four kilonewton. And the angle here, the angle of the resultant force with the x-axis or the horizontal axis theta, let's call it, is tan inverse of. 3.032 over 1.312 so the angle here is 
66.6 degree. So by the, using the by using the horizontal and vertical components, we found the magnitude of the the magnitude of the resultant force is 3.304 kilonewton, and the angle it makes with the horizontal angle is 66.6 degrees. Now for the second method of solution, I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use a triangle. Here we have F2 2 kilonewton and F1 3 kilonewton. Uh, we have the angles with the vertical and the horizontal uh, directions 50, 40, and 30, and 60 degrees. This angle. So this angle is 60 degree 2. That makes a right triangle here uh, if I move if I move F2 from here and put it at the end of the other vector which is here so if I move F2 to this position and I keep the F1 as 3 kilonewton here I will have a triangle F1 F2 and a uh, resultant force as FR, they will make a triangle because the mm, because the angle here is 60 degree and here is 40 degree we know that the angle then the summation of these three angles together should be 180 so this one is 80 let's call it beta there is another angle here, I want to call it for now, I want to call it gamma. If I use the law of cosines for the triangle I have here, I can write FR as the square root of 3 squared, which is F1, plus F2. 2 kilonewton squared minus twice of F1 times F2 times cosine 80 which is cosine beta. If you calculate this uh, force we will, we will find FR as 3.304 kilonewton and also we have to use the law of sines to find the to find the angle in the gamma here so gamma you know sine gamma over the length of the side in front of that is equal to sine beta uh, in a fraction sine beta over the length of the side uh, in front of that so I can write uh, here I can write sine gamma over the side in front of that is F2 which is 2 kilonewton is equal to sine beta sine 80 degree over the side in front of that FR is 3.304 kilonewton so sine gamma uh, can be calculated from this equation actually gamma will be 30 6.6 degree so the, the total angle uh, to, to the horizontal direction here will be will be 30 sorry will be 30 plus gamma so the angle here will be 30 plus gamma which is 66 66.6 .6 degree if you look at the solution, we have 66 point degree and mm, 3.304 kilonewton as the resultant force, which is the which is same as the solution of the method one.